Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be going over this parallel channel on Bitcoin, also the beauty of the 618 Fibonacci level, which is not the first time I've said that, and uh, I just hope that you thoroughly enjoy this video. Uh, as always, I guess it's an absolute pleasure for me to be making you this video tonight, uh, so I hope that you can sit back, relax, and uh, hopefully learn something educationally uh, from the way that I have been trading this, which if I say so myself has been very well. Uh, so yeah, let's begin. Uh, obviously, well, I guess the, uh, the last 23 days now we've been in this range. So we obviously had the breakdown from 9,000, that descending triangle that was going on, broke down from the tw descending triangle 23 days ago now. Uh, and this range itself, in my opinion, has has just been what I class as trading technical analysis perfection. It's, it's just the levels have been really, really well respected. Okay, so this is aside from trading, just this, the technicals itself, uh, each pivot point, very, very, very technically uh, traded, okay, and now, uh, you know, I've obviously in, in prior videos gone over the <laughs> perfection that we had prior, okay, obviously the, the, the top of this move being the swing failure pattern of 8,000 up to 8,820, uh, swing failure pattern onto the weekly, hover around there for about 15 minutes before obviously giving way, you know, and then had a little ABC correction up in here, obviously being the one-to-one, -one. and since then, we obviously lost the middle of our pocket here, the weekly level, and uh, have, have moved down in the, the last few days again, okay? Uh, so I have had this mid-term sort of bearish bias on Bitcoin, which which I must say has gone very well. And uh, this is the channel that I see us having support on right now, which is a little bit of confluence between our daily level, obviously 7861, and the bottom of the channel itself, okay? This is one that I gave to the group yesterday. Uh, had full faith in myself, to be honest, uh, that we would, um, you know, get this uh, another move down where I uh, clearly was saying I'll, I'll take profits on the bottom of the uh, channel. OK, and obviously this is what we were like yesterday, fully expecting this to come down. Have a guess what happened yesterday. It was actually very, very technical again, because what you can see here is the food pool from the very low of the move to the very top. So that's bottom of the range, the top of the range. Uh, the 618 obviously had priorly prior being support where you, where you saw a little wick through then a few bounces exactly. So you can see this, this yellow nine is the 618. Okay, wick through it. Obviously, then it zap bounces onto 618 before eventually just a series of lower highs and, and falling through. Okay, but then this was, was our yesterday's view. Okay, uh, yesterday we had the, the move up. Okay, to touch then the 618 from the downside, and that is an exact SR flip. So if you look, don't even know anything about Fibonacci, then you can really clearly see old support flipping to resistance here. Okay, flip to resistance, and you've got another move down. Okay. And today I actually, uh, well, I haven't fully closed out my short, so I've still got shorts open. I took profit on my short and trailed the stops down, okay? And then what we can see here is this morning I was in a day trade long because we obviously come down into daily support. It hasn't, it's gone okay, I'll be honest. It's, it's gone okay, but obviously there's no real massive, massive moves that we've had here. Kind of just grinding along the bottom of the support right now. Okay, but that was literally more of a of sort of a scope trade from around this daily, and and we we got a little bit of a move up, but nothing to really shout home about right now. Uh, all I would say that's that's very noticeable on this is is it obviously you have, you have to take note of the low, high, higher low, higher high, potential higher low. As long as we maintain above, I'll tell you the exact number. As long as we maintain above uh, seven thousand seven hundred sixty-five, it is officially a higher low. But uh, more so range bound, in my opinion, rather than <clears throat> trading this for a higher low, trade the range. OK, and then if you obviously break down from this range, yeah, you're going to be looking down to mid 7000s slash low 7000s. Um, but if this range holds up, if the range holds up, then uh, naturally you're going to be looking back up to the middle and up to the top. And what I would note here is uh, my group know my uh, opinion on divergences, but we have got very big bullish divergences here. OK, so this is on the four hour chart, clearly a lower low made there on price, but a very much a higher high on the uh, RSI oscillator down here. So that's bullish divergences and the same on the MACD, also seeing some bullish divergences. Uh, so that's obviously, you know, something to be aware of. You're, you're hitting a daily support. Obviously, an extended move down that we have seen over the last few days. Uh, well, seven days exactly. Obviously, the move started on the 11th. Uh, so seven days now of downwards pressure. You're obviously going to, you know, one would expect a little bit of a rally to come in here. And we are now sat at the bottom of our channel and daily. OK, so <clears throat> although I do expect to move up here. I am maintaining my short positions. You know, this is more familiar an Elliott Wave perspective, and I will gladly do a Elliott Wave video. Uh, should, should go through this count in another video, video uh, separate from tonight. But in my, you know, primary Elliott Wave count, this is obviously coming in as a one-two or part of the third, e.g., lower prices. But on the on the short term today. 
Although on the midterm, you know, this is where, you know, especially two accounts can help. But on the midterm, I'm expecting lower prices. But uh, today, for example, I was trading Bitcoin long. And that's because I see opportunity here on the long side from these sort of oversold levels, bullish divergences, parallel channel, daily supports. You know, this confluence of support reasons is enough for me to take a day trade long. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's in slight profits, but nothing, as I said, to shout home about. Uh, what I would be, you know, main levels for me now are, are still going to have to be, uh, well, 8,000 itself. 8,000 psychological is still a main main number for me. So 8,000, okay, okay. And then on to the, to the top side, 8,121, uh, I guess, is, is still the number to be, you know, keeping your eye on here for resistance. If you break through that, then I fully expect us to come up to this weekly middle of the channel you know you have to really uh, say before, before i say yeah we're going up straight up to the top of the channel and um, you know you have to you know view what's going on the price action at this level uh so that's you know that, that i can uh, update you with in coming videos uh but if you do not manage to even reclaim the, the uh, eight thousand here let's just say if you cannot reclaim eight thousand and we put in another lower high naturally this is going to be coming down to your monthly again where well, monthly then down to you know your lower weeklies or at least the low of the week 7500 um so yeah a bit of a quicker video today for you all um there's obviously not too much going on here i do want to do a bit you know a bit of a quicker video friday night and all uh so i hope that you have enjoyed this one if you have i'd really appreciate a like uh that's that would be great if you if you if you feel so kind um and i hope that you you've enjoyed so uh thank you everybody uh i uh We'll see you in the next video, I suppose. Uh, and good night. Cheers. Bye. <laughs>